Welcome Minecraft builders to the ultimate compilation of Minecraft's best seeds for building on. I hope you're ready to unleash your creativity because you're about to be inspired by over 250 of Minecraft's most beautiful locations. Seed 25 allows you to build in a flower forest hidden away from the rest of the world. Who wouldn't want to build location with a secret entrance? Follow the river around this hill until you find the gap in the steep meadow wall. Head on through to find the enclosed flower forest with a peaceful little lake. Building and living here would be such a relaxing experience and the cavern gives you an opportunity to build a unique entrance at your base. Seed 24 has a multi-forest island surrounded by a river. The river flowing around the island is almost a perfect circle. Build your base right in the middle of the island with bridges allowing you to cross the circle, or maybe a custom village all the way around the outer ring with a town hall in the center island. Seed 23 is the one for you if you've ever dreamt of building a custom volcano in Minecraft. This mountain is the perfect size and shape for it. Whether you're on the Badlands side or on the Stony Peak side, this mountain towers over the surrounding warm biomes. With a crater at the top, all you need to do is fill it with lava and dig some trenches and you'll have the perfect volcano. Seed 22 spawns you right on top of some jaw-dropping cliff face caves. Being completely exposed to the harsh ocean winds allows for a wide open entrance to your new base. This spacious hollow mountain is full of aquifers, lushness, and even a route down into the deep dark. It's gonna take a lot of work to bring this untouched cavern to life. If you prefer something simpler, check out the next seed. Seed 21 spawns you right next to one of the most perfect biome squares I've ever seen. We've seen plenty of rivers forming circles, but have you ever seen a desert forming a square? Build yourself a small desert town with four fortress walls protecting it, or maybe challenge yourself to survive here without ever leaving the square. C20 begins your adventure right next to two incredible build locations, providing a spawn full of inspiration. Up first is a double lake crater surrounded by walls comprising of savannah, forest, and badlands. The symmetrical nature of the two lakes is something rare to find in Minecraft's randomly generated universe. Head on over to the Badlands walls to find a wooden plateau surrounded by stunning river valleys. Whatever you decide to build in each location, you'll have the luxury of being able to connect them both when you're done. Seed 19 has a coastal bamboo jungle where ocean streams flow down into an exposed lush cave. Follow the water down into the depths of this lively cave where you'll find two sparkling geodes right next to each other on the lush floor. Maybe you could move into one of these geodes and and then build more to fill this cave with a glistening geode city. Seed 18 is home to the perfect place for building on Valentine's Day. Believe it or not, you can find two love heart shaped mushroom islands right next to each other. Perfect in both shape and color, it's definitely worth the travel to get here. Seed 17 features another double lake location, this time in a long meadow valley. Extending over 500 blocks from one end to the other, it's gonna take a lot of building to fill this location. There's plenty more inspiration beyond the meadow walls too, with eye-pleasing plains and forests of all kinds. Seed 16 treats you to the simplicity of a shadow plains valley. It's a calming and peaceful beginning with a gentle stream that flows through the middle of the valley. Build along the riverbanks and view your builds from the surrounding meadow hills. Sailing down the river in one direction will lead you to a flat plains island on a lake where you could build your home. Sail in the opposite direction to find a village to trade with and gather materials for your builds. Seed 15 spawns you right on the edge of a snowy mountain sinkhole. It's like a chunk of the mountain has been ripped out especially for you and all of your ideas. I'd love to see loads of cliff face houses with bridges crossing the water to connect them. There's a small cave from where you can begin development of your sinkhole village and an abundance of forest for you to gather resources. If a cliff face base excites you, then you might like the next seed even better. Seed 14 spawns you just around the corner from this epic lush mountain cave. Once again, exposed to the open ocean, you'll be lost for words when you experience this one for yourself. There's two two lush levels for you to plan out your base and even a convenient entrance for you to drop into. Once you've finished settling in, sit back and enjoy the sunsets or jump down to your basement where you'll find a deep dark mineshaft. Seed 13 has an uncommon biome combination of windswept bamboo and mangrove swamp. This landscape alone might be enough to spark some of your imaginations, but there's one spot in particular 
that I want to show you. Head through the windswept jungle hills into a uniquely formed bamboo cave. It's full of water features, gaping entrances, and even a secret passageway hidden behind a waterfall. Seed 12 has a sunflower island surrounded by a river and a semicircular shaped flower forest hill. This yellow specked plain is just calling out to be your new home. After you spot this location after walking in through the village, you'll have no other choice but to set up camp here. Separated from the surrounding landscape by the river and outer walls, it feels like a plot of land that has been set aside just for you. Seed 11 spawns you high up on a chilling snowy mountain. As you quickly scurry down the nearest slope in search of warmth, you'll be greeted by an incredible view of the valley below. It's here where you'll be looking to build your future home. It's a location that feels too beautiful to disturb, but I'm sure one of you can think of a build that'll fit perfectly into the surroundings. Being towered over by snowy peaks in all directions, you'll have to develop a tunnel system to explore the outer landscape. It'll be worth the digging because the mountain valleys scattered across this spawn are out of this world. Seed 10 brings us to a winding bamboo valley with some of the most imposing dark oak cliffs you'll ever see. As you move up the river towards the mountains, there's a gently inclining jungle path that would be perfect for a riverside colony. Make your own base here between the waterfalls and maybe even a windmill at the very top. Seed 9 spawns you not too far away from a quaint little meadow village. It's a shame it's been abandoned. Opposite the village is another river island, except this time it's in the middle of an ice spikes gateway. The spikes have separated to invite you into a winter wonderland. It would be a convenient spot to build a large gate between your meadow kingdom and your snow kingdom. Seed 8 spawns you on an island with a layout that I'm sure will have your mind racing with build ideas. You get two islands for the price of one, with the central island being surrounded by a circular river. There's a hill perfectly positioned in the middle of the islands with a shallow pool at the bottom of the slope. Build all the way around the islands and then admire your creativity from your main elevated build on the hill. Seed 7 is where you can find a rarely occurring secret underground plane. If you're in the mood for a hidden cave base, I'd highly recommend one with a grassy floor. It's a feature hardly ever seen, but one you really need to experience yourself. It gives you a friendly and familiar feel when you're down exploring the unknown. If you're on bedrock edition, there's woodland mansion directly above and half lush dripstone mineshaft below. Seed 6 brings us to another fiery landscape where lava and water flow down by lush jungle cliffs. The cliffs are scattered in exposed caves, which leads you into a huge lush cave system that leads all the way up to the giant Badlands Mountain above. You could start with a base on the cliffs overlooking the ocean with an underground lush path that leads you to a build at the very peak of the mountain. Seed 5 spawns you in a large enclosed flower forest surrounded by snowy peaks. The majority of the life here has been drawn into this lake which is being fed by the streams flowing down the slopes. If you're after another peaceful building experience, it'd be hard to beat a cottage with a mountain lake view. There's actually an interesting village here too if you decide to adventure beyond the peaks. Now imagine this location but times a thousand. That's what you'll get with the next seed. Seed 4 spawns you in another lake-filled mountain dome, but I think this one beats all the rest. When first loading up a new Minecraft world, one of the first tasks is often to find a nice spot to build. No need with this one. I think we'd all be content staying right here. You've got a perfectly central lake, forested slopes, peaks piercing the clouds, and even a large exposed cave for you to explore right at your feet. Seed 3 is Minecraft's answer to a tabletop mountain. It's usually pretty tricky to build on top of mountains with their uneven surface, but this one gives you your best opportunity to try it. This max height mountain is so tall and so wide, resulting in a good amount of flat area for you to build on. When you're looking down from your build, the surrounding mountains will seem tiny in comparison. Seed 2 is one of the most eye-pleasing spawns I've ever found. Standing in this meadow, the views of the forest and the frozen peaks in the background are just breathtaking. Progress through the forest and find even more amazing places to build up in the mountains, or turn around in the opposite direction to find a lake where five rivers meet. Seed 1 is home to the largest lake-filled meadow crater ever found. This natural wonder has formed thanks to two giant lakes merging together. Whether you decide to build around the lake or up on the meadow walls, you can be sure that you're inhabiting a location like no other. Seeing a lake this big would be impressive anywhere in the world, but being protected by this beautiful meadow just takes it to that next level.
Seed 25 spawns you right on the edge of the most impressive cliffs I've ever seen. Topped with a forest and max height mountains, these cliffs make for some incredible scenery. This would be the perfect location for the ultimate cliff face base. These cliffs stretch so far that you could even build yourself an entire cliff city. Above the cliffs, you can find beautiful valleys and stunning mountain ranges. The possibilities are endless with this seed. C24 spawns you on some amazing Stony Peaks mountains. There's a central Stony Peak mountain surrounded by more Stony Peaks that act as a natural protective wall all the way around. It's like a mountain inside of a mountain. Build a castle on the middle section and set up some watchtowers on the outer ring. I'd love to see what you end up building here. C23 has an island surrounded by a deep river valley, beautiful meadows, and waterfall mountains. I imagine someone building a house here in the middle with several bridges allowing the player to cross the river and reach their home safely. You definitely wouldn't want to end up down here. It'd be such a pain to get back up. What do you imagine building here? C22 has one of the longest mountain valleys I've ever found. I love how this area looks with the jagged peaks closing the valley off in the distance. The valley opening begins here by a jungle coast. Head past the jungle temple and it will take you over 400 blocks until you reach the end. Build all the way through this valley and then build yourself a home at the end where you can look down over your kingdom. C21 has possibly the best building location I've ever found. Check out this huge dome with a lake entirely surrounded by a meadow hills wall. This is one of the largest enclosed areas I've ever seen in Minecraft. Build yourself a settlement hidden from the rest of the world, or maybe even a tower in the middle with bridges that reach the meadows. Let me know in the comments what you're going to build in this unique landscape. How far would you travel for the perfect Minecraft landscape? C20 has the most amazing jungle mountain that almost looks like it was custom made. Imagine building your base down here with views of both the ocean and jungle slopes. Check out the bamboo cliffs where you can find a jaw-dropping exposed lush cave. The combination of these two features make this a location with so many possibilities. Seed 19 has the perfect location for a peaceful lakeside fishing shack. I'd never get bored of fishing here. The mountain views around this lake are incredible. I'd recommend building right here for optimal views of the mountains, forest, and surrounding ocean. What's the luckiest item you've ever fished up in Minecraft? Seed 18 has a deep mountain dome with half frozen peaks, half stony peaks. You'll feel pretty safe and secure living down here. The mountain is surrounded by all six wood types. Collect all the wood you could ever need and bring your resources back to the dome to construct your build. I think it would look really cool if someone could build a really tall tower in the middle that's able to see over the top of the mountains. Seed 17 has a beautiful dark oak forest entirely surrounded by mountains. This would be perfect for a treetop village build or maybe even a castle on the hill right here. Under the hill, you can find a large dripstone cave. Perhaps somewhere for your castle's secret dungeons. What would you build in this location? Seed 16 has a magical snowy mountain that would be perfect for building an ice palace. I love how the ice spikes and frozen peaks lead you to the top of the mountain. They're like a natural path and staircase that leads to whatever you decide to build at the top. Ice spike valleys like this are one of my favorite additions to Minecraft in recent times. Seed 15 has another beautiful mountain crater with colorful meadow and extremely tall jagged peaks. A complementing combination of both peaceful and intimidating terrain. Build down here amongst the flowers at the bottom or or in one of the exposed caves on the slopes. I think I'd want to build tunnels through the mountain so I wouldn't have to climb over these peaks every time that I wanted to leave. Seed 14 has the largest biome boundary I've ever come across in Minecraft. On one side, you've got jungle, and on the other side, you've got badlands. A perfect opportunity for building up two competing colonies. On which side will your alliances lie? There's loads of exposed lush caves along this long boundary. Maybe the two sides could be fighting over who has control of the caves. Seed 13 has the perfect location for a cozy log cabin. Build here in between these two tall trees and you'll have an amazing mountain, valley and meadow views. I love the combination of the colors in this location. There's something about this location that just makes me want to chill and play Minecraft all night. Somebody please build a cabin here and show me when you're done. Seed 12 has an absolutely incredible spawn where you begin your adventure on top of these jagged peaks. The peaks surround this huge valley which would make for another amazing building location. 
I'd love to build a mountain slope town with a railway system where you can ride all the way around this gigantic dome. Build a town hall right in the middle on this mound. This looks like a great spot to build the entrance to the town with a watchtower on each side. I've shown a lot of mountain locations, but I know some people just prefer some simple plains. I think Seed 11 is a great combination of both. Here you have a beautiful sunflower and flower forest plains with plenty of space for building. You'll have a great backdrop for your builds as these plains are surrounded by waterfall mountains and valleys. C10 has two structures that I think you should connect by building a road. At one end of this spruce valley you can find a village, and at the other end of the valley you can find a woodland mansion. I'd love to see a winding country road with bridges across the river all the way through this valley to allow villagers to travel back and forth to the mansion. Seed 9 has a flower forest surrounded by flower hills. There's literally flowers in every direction that you look in this location. This is one of the prettiest and most colourful building locations you could ever wish for in Minecraft. I'd love to live here. Which Minecraft flower is your favourite? Seed 8 spawns you right next to this exposed lush cave with loads of waterfalls. I'd love to see someone build a lush base down here with some hidden rooms behind the waterfalls. The lush cave is bigger than it seems too. Make your way through the cracks and you'll find plenty of deep cave areas to expand your base. Seed 7 has a plains hill surrounded by a river and loads of different biomes. Build your house on top of the hill and bridges to connect yourself to the nearby jungle and savannah. Being up on this hill gives you some great views over the surrounding terrain. I love when locations are raised up and surrounded by water like this. Seed 6 has one of the most amazing spawns I've ever found. Imagine creating your new Minecraft world and this is the first view you see. You spawn on this savannah mountain with views down into the valley. It's nice to have such a beautiful building location right at spawn without having to travel. Seed 5 has a great location for a snow themed build. Check out this area of snow plains surrounded by frozen river and ice spikes. Could be a nice place for a custom snow village. Having a feature like this around your build always makes it seem 10 times better. Close by, there's also this snowy mountain with an exposed cave that looks like an interesting place to build. Here's another amazing meadow crater for you to build in. This one again has a lake in the middle, but this time half of it is a jungle biome. Another location to seclude yourself from the outside world. Over the meadow hills you'll see plenty of flat plains for building too, and over the jungle side it looks like there's a large flat hill that could be a nice spot as well. Seed 3 has one of the most beautiful snowy mountain valleys I've ever seen. The forest combined with the steep wooden slopes and frozen peaks really makes for an incredible landscape to look at. There's plenty of building potential both in the valleys and on top of this max height mountain. There's another valley on the other side and even more amazing mountains. What would you build in these snowy mountains? Seed 2 has a jungle crater with a pillager outpost and exposed lush caves could be a great spot for your very own jungle temple or maybe a jungle treehouse village protected by stony peaks. There's bamboo and streams flowing down the slopes too. Let me know, what is your favourite biome to build in? Seed 1 has a village and an outpost in a beautiful location with more beautiful mountains and rivers close by. There's an exposed cave in the mountain next to the village which could make for a unique base. Around the corner, there's a birch and oak forest with a huge mountain towering over it another great building location. Over the top of this gigantic mountain, you'll find another nice location with plains, cliffs and ocean. There's even two ocean villages close by.
Make your way south through dense, dark forest and ice-capped mountains riddled with lush and flooded caves until you reach the tallest, most magnificent peaks of all, jagged white spires piercing the clouds, containing a long, deep, narrow valley. With the challenging verticality of this location, it'll take a skilled and imaginative builder to stamp their creativity on these mountains, especially since you'll be watched over by this pillager outpost. A cozy little village sits tucked beside a windswept hill bordering a vast ocean and a sprawling swamp. Little do they know, the hills just beside their home are largely hollow, containing entrances to countless tunnels and cave systems. At all times of day, this cave is full of beasts preparing to emerge in the night, but should you come along and clear it out for the villagers, it could make for an excellent hidden base. With wonderful access to abundant resources and a convenient river that can act as your base entrance. Somewhere in this blocky world, another clash of biomes produces a mountain range reaching far above the clouds, stabbing at the sky with a multitude of color. Imagine building right here, where you'll have permanent views of the wooded badlands. Your build will benefit from the abundance of wood types, water sources, and exposed caves. Just make sure your build is a special one, because this is a view you'll never want to leave. Tucked between steep savanna and mixed forest hills is a lake deeper than one can fathom with the naked eye. Should you drop into its depths, you'll find a floor not of dirt, sand or gravel, but deep slate with exposed lapis, iron and redstone. Various cracks and tunnels line the edges of the depths in the center of the floor to explore, should you have enough potions to sustain yourself there. Just imagine the incredible things you could build in the depths of this lake with the help of some conduit power. On a rocky tiger shore between vast warm ocean and glacial seas sits an exposed lush cave right at your feet when you spawn into this world. Waterfalls curtain away a long stretch of the first chamber, but at first it seems shallow. Surprisingly, with a short search, many holes through the shelves of clay show paths deeper and deeper, layer upon layer of cavern reaching down deep into the earth. If you're interested in a lush cave build, it doesn't come more convenient and inspiring than this spawn. If you ever want to start small but expand into more adventures than you can imagine, this is where you begin. An oblong valley bordered by steep, towering plateaus is what you'll call home. You'll have everything you need here, but should you grow lonely, two villages wait for you just beyond the walls and many new biomes to gather from. Start with a small starter shack next to the lake, fish to your heart's content, and then expand into a large enclosed town filling the whole valley. If you love a good vertical build and homes up high, look no further than this tall, precarious, windswept Taiga Mountain. Chipped and carved away by harsh winter winds, it provides a unique challenge to any builder looking to make something scenic and original. Trade a little with your neighbors, explore the surrounding mountains and lakes, and build yourself a nice home somewhere high to spend your evenings watching the sunset and cliff diving into the pond below. A single grassy mound sits in a deep crater between barren, stony mountains. This mountain range pierces the sky as high as they can possibly go, giving this build location some intimidating surroundings. If you grow lonely, a savannah village waits just beyond the mountains, should you tunnel your way there or brave the climb. While this location may make you feel isolated, there's a great opportunity for a road to connect your build to the ocean. A beautifully curved mountain sits jagged and towering over a dense taiga forest. A single watchtower sits at the valley entrance, keeping an eye on intruders to your future build location. The mountain slopes are bordered by rivers flowing through the ravines and cascading down into lively green caverns. Should you grow tired of the scenic surface, there's plenty more to see beneath the earth. A perfect place to raise a warm, cozy garden away from the chilling climate above. But you will be chilling after you build your homely log cabin hidden with the forest of this jagged peak valley. You wake from meditation upon a bamboo pole. To your left, a fallen gateway to the nether. To your right, a small plateau sporting both jungle and mixed birch forest, which could be a perfect location for an elevated treehouse. All around you are winding rivers flowing as far as the eye can see in all directions. From this one small jungle hill, the entire world is in your reach. You need only choose when and how to start. If you ever need a break from adventure and want a peaceful, comfortable life in this blocky world, then come to this cozy, quiet beach. If you need a quick shelter for your first night, there's a small jungle temple just a short walk away. If you want something simple, the beach is wide and flat with plenty of space. When you're ready to explore, just around the corner from your relaxing jungle resort, you can find a jungle temple island. 
Here you spawn on a snowy peak with a lush cavern fully exposed to the cold surface just beside you and spread across the mountains in various shallow craters. Look around for a moment and you'll find the mountains form a ring into a deep crater valley containing a small but dense dark oak forest just begging to be settled in. Once you do, take some time to expand into the deep lush caves through the ravine but be careful. Venture too deep and you'll be greeted by the skulk guarding geodes, a mine shaft and a skeleton spawner. Every great base has an XP farm though, right? Follow the coastal cliffs of this new world and soon you'll find an enormous cavern in the cliff face just barely above the water and facing the wide open sea. The open entrance is so large that it's still noticeable from a long distance. Whether you window this off or keep it open to the ocean breeze, I just know someone could turn this into the best modern cave base we've ever seen. When you wake in this fresh world, you find yourself surrounded by steep hills and colorful cliffs, tucked in a cozy hidden valley to build your perfect ranch, dotted with flowers of all kinds and varieties. Perhaps a dream building location for a beekeeping builder. Your new neighbors atop the cliff are eager to trade, providing surprisingly cheap emeralds to aid your progress. Should you meet them there and peer about the world surrounding you, you'll find winding rivers and meadow valleys for even more building inspiration. A minuscule island sits in the midst of an enormous lake. It's barely large enough for a tent, and yet the view is breathtaking. The lake is bordered by sheer cliff faces on all sides. A stunning, jagged peak mountain and calming shoreline that would be perfect for a coastal walking route that circles around your island. Though small, I know someone will appreciate these views enough to put in the effort to expand the island and make it their home. A hook-shaped meadow wall sits in the midst of a vast open plain. There are villages on either side of the Crescent Hill, taking full advantage of the peacefully flat terrain and open air. Between the Crescent Walls is where you'll build your home. Your new home will be tranquil and untroubled thanks to its flowery wall of defense. Adventure over the wall and you'll encounter more flowers, meadow and rivers calling out to be bridged. Should you venture from these waters, you'll find yourself on a small island in a dry lake bed, surrounded by towering mesa mountains, colorful terracotta titans in all directions, both barren and wooded. A deep scar cuts into the nearest mountain, exposing a dripstone cave to the surface air. But be wary, the deep dark lurks below. Should you brave it, the ancient civilization below will provide a plethora of resources. Before taking on that challenge, settle on this wooded mound, build your town, and make use of all the valleys to expand and reach new horizons. You spawn atop a tall, snowy mountain littered with spruce, in which sits a deep, forested crater. Should you venture down into the skulk and through the waterfall, a long abandoned city awaits so close to where you began. But should you venture beyond along the surface, across the peaks, you'll find a mountain surrounded by nearly every environment you could wish for. Every kind of wood in this world is at your disposal in such a short space, just waiting for you to make something incredible with it on top of this mountain. Far into a vast ocean, you may find this glorious crescent island with a smaller island sitting cradled in the middle. There's a plethora of birch wood, sugarcane, and chicken to sustain you should you not care for fish. I'd love to see a house on the middle where the birch island is surrounded by varying watercolors. From your central home, build multiple bridges connecting yourself to the outer island moon. A drastic clash of climate sits in the valley of a circular hill containing a deep, cavernous lake. To one side of this valley is forested hills beyond flowery hilltops. On the other, frozen mountains and dense spruce woods dotted with villages thriving against the cold. This half-frozen haven would be ideal for a lakeside community. Set up your builds around the shore of the lake and up on the meadow walls, but be careful where you step while you're building. On the frozen side, there's a drop into a huge tripstone cave with cascading waterfalls and glowing lava. I know some of you cave dwellers will appreciate this bonus feature to an already perfect location.
This spawn is perfect for a cherry wood starter base. You begin your Tales and Trails adventure by spawning on a cherry grove island. The surrounding river will give you a peaceful start by protecting you from intruders. Once you're ready to explore, build your very first cherry wood bridge to cross over to the nearby meadows and find out what else this world has to offer. If you're after a chill start, this is the most scenic and serene spawn you could wish for. You'll start by the bank of a river that flows toward the calming views of a cloud-filled mountain valley. You couldn't ask for a better view after first stepping foot into a new world. The small flat patch of grass by the river would be perfect for a starter shack or fishing hut. If this is what spawn looks like, I'm sure it only gets better from here. This seed has a dreamlike cherry grove landscape with loads of open-ended valleys that would be ideal for some cherry-walled towns. There's so much space for building in the sunflower fields below the pink blossom hills and plenty of rivers beyond the walls that add life to this already flourishing terrain. This will be the perfect spot for this world's cherry district after you gather recruits from the nearby villages. This is one of the craziest ice spike spawn ever. You begin your adventure right on the top of this insane slice of frozen windswept terrain. There are towering ice spikes, frosty tunnels, chilling cliff faces, and platforms high up in the sky. Connect these different sections together and build your very own frozen kingdom right at spawn that is sure to amaze your friends. Here's another beautiful and soothing build location for the new update. It's a small meadow plateau surrounded by rivers, mountains, and cherry grove. The flower-filled land is conveniently leveled out for your build, and the views will make living amongst these bees a place you'll never want to leave. The pink blossoming trees, blue flowing water, and rainbow flowers in between make this such an eye-pleasing building spot. There's loads more inspiring build locations coming up that you won't want to miss, including beautiful lakes and the biggest enclosed mountain area ever. But first, check out this incredible windswept forest arch. This is the tallest arching overhang found so far in Minecraft. From the frozen ocean below all the way up to the clouds above, this location is bound to inspire some crazy build ideas. How would you fill this arch? Maybe you could turn it into a giant nether portal. This unique landscape already captures attention just by itself, so you can be sure that your base will stand out from the rest if you pick this location. This seed has a personal favorite build location for the new update. It's a huge meadow island filled with flowers, bees, and even a giant ruined portal. It's almost entirely surrounded by a river and cherry grove in all directions. Without crossing the river, the only exit from the meadow is through a strip of flower forest that runs through two cherry groves. It's the perfect natural pathway to leads up to your build. There are even some cool open caves to explore around the outskirts too. Speaking of exposed caves, this seed spawns you right next to one of the most interesting ones we've ever seen. It's like a giant egg-shaped cavern that sits at the bottom of these intimidating cliffs that make for some stunning visuals. Build yourself a cliff face base to look out over the surrounding landscape and you could use the cave below as an epic base entrance that leads you up to your build above. There's so many creative things you could do with this one and if you need resources, it looks like there's a mansion not too far away. You're bound to fall in love with this seed as it spawns you right next to a cherry mountain heart. It's the perfect spot for a secluded cherry themed build right at spawn. Whatever you decide to build in here, you'll be happy to know that you've got some friendly neighbors. The village scales its way up the cherry slopes and even hides some dripstone caves. There could be potential here for a tunnel system to easily reach the village from your base. There's loads of flat plains around the mountain too, so you won't be short of building options. This seed spawns you on a very special mountain range. It's one of the longest and narrowest ever found. It would be perfect to use this stretch of snowy peaks as a boundary between builds. It would be an interesting seed for two friends or two opposing factions. Each friend or team of friends can own the land on the side of the mountain and they can only cross to battle or trade. Compete with your friends to see who can build the best empire. We're only halfway through the list. The most amazing build locations are still to be seen. Sit back, grab your notepads, and prepare to be inspired. This is one of the rarest biome combinations you can spawn on in the new update. It's a small ice spikes valley almost entirely surrounded by cherry grove. The only part not surrounded by cherry grove leads you through a winding meadow valley with loads of other nice build locations to be found. This will be such an exciting spawn for trying out this pink new wood type. 
Do you have any cherry theme build ideas that would fit well in this cold and frosty biome? This seed spawns you by a deep lake watched over by mountains and two layers of meadow. This could be a great place to build a custom village that circles around the lake, but there's loads more to find right next to this lake too. There's a cherry tree river island, forest river islands, loads of villages, meadow valleys and another cherry grove off in the distance. There's even more beautiful lake spawns to come, including this seed that spawns you on an ice-shaped cherry grove island that's surrounded by a river with a small lake right in the middle. Maybe you could build a spiral path down to an enchanted fishing shack hidden by the cherry forest. It's such a unique cherry grove formation. The way it's separated from the rest of the overworld by the river makes it really stand out from the rest. This is sure to be one of the more popular build locations for the new update, especially since it's right at spawn too. Here's a location that we thought would be perfect for a mountaintop castle up in the sky. The village at the bottom of the slope provides the starting point for a gradually inclining pathway up to your mountain castle location. Whatever you decide to build up here, you can be sure it will have the best vantage point to rule over this Minecraft world. Make your way down and you'll also notice a long mountain range where the slopes are covered in cherry blossom. It's such a pleasing backdrop for whatever you decide to build here. Here's another perfect starter base location for the new update. It's a decent sized segment of plains, once again surrounded by a river as well as Minecraft's newest biome. The island contains one singular tree as well as a ruined portal. It'll be a fun challenge to try and survive here as long as possible before bridging across to the cherry grove. Or gather yourself some cherry wood and build yourself a pink log cabin right in the middle of the island. Thanks for making it this far into the video. A massive cherry lake and the biggest mountain crater ever are among the seeds to come, but you might love the next one just as much. This seed spawns you next to another cherry grove and die spikes combination, but just a short adventure into the snowy plains and you'll notice an extraordinarily long ice spikes path stretching hundreds of blocks. It's the biggest natural path that we've seen. You could use it to guide people to your ice palace, built right next to the cherry blossom forest, or build your own custom ice spikes and extend this path to every point of interest you come across in this world. Here's a popular seed that's been making its way around the internet recently. You spawn right next to this mixed forest island surrounded by a river. People love the idea of their builds being naturally separated from the rest of the land. There's a long stretch of river that leads directly to the island, giving it that extra special feel of importance. And on the opposite side of the island, you can find a flat patch of meadow right next to a village, another nice area to set up camp. This is the flattest and most spacious plain spawn we've seen in a while. With all the new features being added to Minecraft, people are craving simplicity more and more. This seed will definitely give you that. There's so much space for building, but there's some new features too. At the end of the wide open plains, you'll find a small cherry blossom hill. This would be a great place to watch over your builds in the new update. This is the best lake to build around in Minecraft 1.20. The lake is huge and entirely surrounded by cherry grove. There's even a gradually declining path that leads you from the pink forest down to the lakefront. Whether you decide to build around the lake or right in the middle, you won't be limited to the materials as you can find almost every different wood type surrounding the large cherry blossom forest. The lake is super deep too, so you could even test yourself out with some underwater builds. But if you'd like a bit more space above land, this final seed is going to get you excited. This is the biggest enclosed mountain area in Minecraft. It's like four mountain valleys combined into one. Your builds will have fantastic views thanks to the tall, jagged peaks that circle all the way around. We'd love to see someone fill this entire area with 1.20 themed builds. There's flowers of all colors, large exposed caves, flowing mountain streams, and even some structures. It's a dream building location. There's even a small cherry hill over the peaks with incredible views of the mountains. 